Are you ready to travel in 2021? Then today you are going to love my video on my five top tips for planning travel in 2021 and potentially 2022. Yikes. Jumping right into it, the very first thing you are going to want to consider is obviously your destination. Travelbands.org, and I'm going to link that down below, is going to be one of the best websites for you to check in on and see what countries are currently allowing you, wherever you're based, to travel there. Current being the most important word to note because things have been changing on a dime and will continue to change. But this is going to be your number one resource, your number one mission when you are deciding where the heck you're gonna go. Once you have chosen your destination, the next order of business is going to be to figure out what the heck the travel requirements are for that country. Now, each country is going to be a little bit different and these requirements are gonna change as you go along. So you're gonna wanna stay up to date with these, but requirements are going to range anywhere from just proof of vaccination or proof of negative COVID test to 14 day quarantines and so on and so forth. So make sure that you know what paperwork is required and what's Sort of quarantine and other restrictions are going to be in place once you land in your destination of choice. So destination and requirements on arrival are going to be two of the very most important things that you're going to want to be considering. There are three more, but before I continue, I just wanted to put it out there. If you're enjoying this video so far and you love travel content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I post new travel content every single Sunday and you're not going to want to miss it. Now that you've subscribed down below, my third tip is going to be to get your insurance and get the right insurance. At the time of filming this video, not all insurance companies are covering international travel. And although some are promoting that they are, there are also little loopholes where if you're traveling to a country that has an advisory, which is pretty much all of them, <laughs> then that voids the validity of your insurance. So make sure that you are not only checking your policy, but the fine print as well, and guarantee that you don't get stuck in a rut during your vacation. Tip number four comes down to booking, booking your flights and booking your accommodations. So accommodations specifically, especially if you are traveling to a country that does require a 14 day or I guess any number of day quarantine is to make sure that you are booking at a quarantine friendly or a quarantine approved hotel. Not all hotels in all countries are going to allow you to stay there when you land. And while some countries, Thailand being one of them, have their quarantine list or their quarantine approved hotel list widely available and easy to find, that's not necessarily the case with all of them. So be sure that you take a look into the quarantine friendly hotels and if that is something that you are able to choose or is going to be assigned to you. And then as for flights, my recommendation is going to be to book as close to the trip as possible while still obviously being able to like, you know, be prepared and guarantee that you do get a, a seat on the flight that you're looking for. Why wait? Again, because restrictions and travel restrictions and border closures and things like that can change on a dime, planning, you know, six to eight months out just isn't quite as smart these days. I'm Annie Terry here and I just wanted to quickly elaborate. The length of time that you'll need to book in advance will vary from country to country. Some locations recommend booking your accommodations further in advance with very few hotels available for international travelers and others request that you not make your bookings until closer to arrival as regulations can change and flexibility is key. So if you are booking in advance, do your best to take advantage of flexible flight fares flexible bookings with free cancellations and pay close attention to the fine print. And last but not least, my fifth tip is going to be to set realistic expectations for your trip because just because a country is open doesn't necessarily mean that your experience there is going to be what it was pre C word. <laughs> Just because you are coming in from a country that has a high vaccination rate doesn't necessarily mean that the country you're arriving in has had that same access. And at least for the foreseeable future, you are likely going to need to continue to wear your masks, social distance, and notice that restaurants, bars, and the like may not quite be open or if they are not quite open in the same way. So if you do want to do your best to guarantee that you're going to run into 
the least amount of closures as possible, I guess. Try to choose a destination with declining cases. Choose a destination that has a high vaccination rate. And again, stay up to date with the travel advisories, not only in the country that you are flying from, but the country that you're going to. So yes, travel in 2021 might be a little bit tricky. Travel in 2022, Mm -mm, might be a little bit tricky as well, but these are my top five tips if you are planning an adventure and if you love travel content and you're looking for more information on topics like this, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I post new travel content every single Sunday and have lots of adventures in the works. So until I see you in my next video, stay great, travel safe, and I will see you then. Bye guys.